Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining Air Guns and Air Power this evening. Uh, today, we're going to be out here with a Hot Sun Bully 357. We have the same tubes that we shot yesterday. These are just a different color. Some new ones I got brought home. They are up against uh, some bricks here. And uh, for you uh, longtime subscribers, you might recognize this. This is our two inch metal exhaust coupling that we've shot a couple times before. Let me get up here closer to the camera. If you remember this, for those of you who don't, I have shot this with uh, several brake barrels that left dents in here, a 177 and a 22 cal brake barrel. And this big old gnarly dent you see here was actually shot from a 30 cal Hot Sun BT65 Carnivore. <laughs> which I no longer have but we're going to attempt to hit it today with the uh, bully we're going to be at 30 yards and uh, to be honest with you it's kind of sketchy shooting these straight up and down metal objects like this with any air rifle I've had rounds come flying back past me before and you can hear them zoom and that is, a, that is a scary situation. I do not recommend you try this. I am kind of uh, a little nervous myself doing this, but I do it for you. Put my life on the line out here so you guys can check this out. And that is assuming I can hit these with the bully because the, the uh, 357 bully I have is not very known for being accurate. So hopefully I can hit one of these. If not, you're just going to get the video anyway, and you're going to get to see if the, how, if the rifle is just how bad it is at accuracy, or maybe it'll hit. I don't know. We're here to find out. Let's take this camera back down to the bench, get this camera here running on the target, go ahead and see if we can get some contact on these targets. And after the video, just like last time, We'll go in the house with our targets, look at them, discuss what it did. I have three tubes here. I'm not seeing it if I can make contact. I'm not seeing it get past the second tube. I do believe it'll go through the first one completely. And probably into the second one, I don't see it going hitting the back wall of the second one. It may. Like I said, there's only one way to find out. Let's get to the bench. I have you guys sitting here behind me today. You can see down range at the target and our other camera down there hopefully won't fail on us. These are the 122 grain cylinder based slugs. These, these are from Lucky 7, Seven Ammo. Um, do not let the accuracy of this gun determine what this ammunition does because like I mentioned before, this rifle is not known for great accuracy. I'm not going to be able to use the bag, it looks like. Let's send our first round at the tube. My trigger feels really, really light. Looks like we hit to the left. Let me try and make a right adjustment. About that much. Not looking good. I thought we already shot here and I already had this scope. Kind of zeroed in. The more air we use, the less power we're going to have. This does not seem to be one adjusting just to the right. 
Here we go. I'm just going to go with it. Hopefully we did not load around already. I don't even think we got nothing. I'm sorry guys, this raffle just gives me so much trouble. Excuse my language. This is just irritating. Hopefully there's a round in there. It does not look like we're going to make contact, and this damn thing will not, does not want to speed round. Did I even try to move the scope? There's two more rounds left. Don't even know if I got one of them in. We may have hit that board that last final shot. We have 160 bar left, nine out of nine shots. I finally made a little adjustment aiming over to the right and a little high and it actually looks like it shot a little high. So, I don't even know if I want to continue doing this. To come back in here. Okay guys, we hit one right there. It went into the second one and I don't know if you can see the round down there on the ground, the little shiny slug. Now we're gonna go in the house. I did not get to hit the coupling. Maybe uh, next time on another video I'll try. It took all nine shots to finally hit those tubes, adjusting and adjusting, and finally holding my aim point over. And uh, I'll try to get it closer and a little bit more zeroed in for shooting that coupling. Okay, we're back in the house to take a look at these. I finally got one hit on the uh, tubes. Uh, like I mentioned, I'll get out here. It won't be tomorrow. I have to work. So I will do this on Sunday when I have a lot more time. Unless I don't get through working on my truck because I have to change the universal joints in it. But I will try to get the bully zeroed in there. Watching, Going back and watching the playback. I kind of noticed they were kind of shooting, grouping in, in the same group on that center block and down in the dirt as I was a, kept adjusting the scope to the right. But as you can tell, they were still kind of in the same area. It didn't look like it was adjusting very well. Uh, with a lot of turns, I kept just cranking that thing. But I'll see what I can do. 
to try and hit this uh, steel coupling for you guys with a 357. As you can see, what the 30 cal uh, BT65 done to it, I showed you out there earlier. In case those that did not see that video, you can go back and see that video on the channel in the video section. I think it is a BT65 penetration test or hard targets or something. Anyway, go back and check out all the videos. Yeah, help the channel out. And subscribe, and like, and share the videos. Get us on up there to a thousand subs. Because uh, until I get a new equipment, I can't do lives with you guys on my cell phone because it won't allow me unless I have a thousand subs or more. Um, and uh, I'm not up to financial standards right at this moment to get new tech for you guys. I've been working on that and things keep coming up. Anyway, we're not going to get into my personal life. Let's get the camera over here. Take a look at these tubes. We're going to take a look at the rounds first. This is what one of the uh, cylinder base 122 grain Lucky 7 ammo slugs look like. The cylinder ones. He has different types you can get from him. Uh, let's lump it out of the pack. These are uh, these are some of those you can order from him. You can go on Lucky 7 Ammo online and check out his site. And like I mentioned before, this gun does not determine the accuracy of the ammo. Because this gun is just not, in my opinion, not that great of accuracy. And this was one of the slugs after I shot the uh, tube with it. And we did finally make contact. It did a little bit of... Uh, deforming of it but the slugs totally looks intact besides that little def deform deformation on it and I found one in the on the ground I don't know if it hit the dirt hit the brick or hit the brick and landed in the dirt or whatever but it just turned into a chunk of stuff and probably shattered when it probably did hit the brick anyway <clears throat> we hit the first tube as you seen on video there's your hole. Don't look too much bigger than the 30 cal. And then there's your exit. There. That's where it exited. The first one. See if I can shine a little light on the subject for you. There you go. Now let's look at the second one and went into the side of the second one here and as predicted that's as far as it went it it uh, did not go through the second one I can find this camera here it went in and it went through the first wall and as I seen on the last video you guys really can't see that back wall very well but it hit the back wall it looked like a keyhole into that back wall <coughs> I don't know if you can see that dent on that back wall back there, but uh, there you have that. It went in one tube out of it and into the second tube, <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you guys a picture of this. I found this slug laying in the second tube there on the ground out there, so <clears throat> there you have it. Air power is out. I'll holler at y'all when I get it zeroed in to try and hit this.